Hi, my name is Jason Palestini. I'm here to quickly demonstrate a project that I had to do for Engineering 4A03 offered at McMaster University. And the instructor for the course is Danny Papagiannis. We went over interactive digital media culture and reviewed topics such as AR, augmented reality, virtual reality, the history of video games, all the way through to interactive art and even film media. In this course, we were asked to complete a final project, and it could be anything that we wanted that fit within the realm. So it was a very, very broad spectrum of assignments that did come in. And what we have here is uh, I created a augmented reality media layer that overlays a textbook. So we're re retrofitting old reading books for kids using uh, augmented reality. And I used uh, Unity with Vuforia um, to create a Apple iOS application. So the inspiration behind the app, which is Read R or Reader, which is Read Augmented Reality, um, was just to retrofit the book Good Night Little Rabbit. But the um, the overarching inspiration was that childhood is a very confusing time for both kids and parents, and parents have already developed their life skills, and they're trying to guide their offspring through the hurdles of modern day society. So one of the most challenging goals that parents must achieve is teaching their child to read. So what we've done is we've created an exciting layer that can overlay this book, and, uh, and, uh, and I'll show you now. Uh, we start up the application. Read R. Now the average age range of the kids that will be using the app will be uh, 2 to 7 who are reading their, their bedtime stories. And uh, it will begin now. You can see the interface is very clean, very simple. There's nothing on it. It's just simply a camera um, for the original screen. And when you introduce the marker, what you have is you get a digital overlay on top. Now, this also comes with audio. Now we can begin the book. Unity now switches to a new scene, and what we're able to do is we're able to see the reader on top of there. Now this reader is going to help the kids go through the pages and read the story to them. So we we'll begin by pressing play. Welcome to my absolute favorite book, Good Night Little Rabbit. Let's begin page one. Supper was over, and Father Rabbit was reading a book to Little Rabbit. It was Little Rabbit's favorite book. Time to get ready for bed, said Mother Rabbit. Go oh, wait, said Little Rabbit, just one more page. No, now, Father Rabbit told him. Turn to the next page. So you're able to, uh, throughout the use of the application, you can pause, and by bringing the camera out of view, the music stops. So when you look at the book, the music comes back in, and you can start the page over. Welcome to my absolute feet. Now, moving in between pages is just as easy. All you have to do Nothing happens on the interface. It's all done by the backend logic, which was programmed using C-Sharp in Unity. So Little Rabbit gave his father a hug, and he and Mother went upstairs. Now closing the book. Little Rabbit. The entire book is done with overlays and it's able to sense what page it's on as we go and it creates a transition that fades to black as we go through. All the way until the final page. I don't want to ruin the end of the book for you. But. I 
forgot to give you a good night kiss, said Little Rabbit. Mother Rabbit smiled. I'm glad you remembered. And he goes to sleep in his bed. Little Rabbit gave his mother a great big kiss. Now Little Rabbit was ready to go to sleep. Good night, Little Rabbit, and sweet dreams. The end. Now, throughout the uh, the creation of this application, I uh, I was very very happy to um, to use the tracking that was offered by Vuforia. It is extremely responsive, and it's able to find the objects almost instantaneously. The the longest time was just the load times between pages, in which we would need to load the audio and in a, in a thread I would actually also um, start rendering the characters and the characters animations. So I learned a lot from this project. I, um, I had worked with C Sharp before but I had never been around Unity and uh, Unity's implementation of C Sharp rendering the models in the 3D space and also working with Vuforia was fantastic to use their kit. The tracking that they were able to offer is absolutely amazing and uh, they, they handle a lot of the mathematics behind the logic to to follow a marker um, what I would do differently in a future project I used a model from the unity store and the rabbit didn't really resemble this rabbit here I mean if I worked with um, an art student or someone who's a little bit better at uh, using blender than I am because 3D modeling is not my forte. I think that it would have given the book a little bit more of a realistic feel as well. My uh, my audio layovers where I was reading the book, it could have been um, someone with a little bit of a better narrative voice, I, I feel. So that's what I would have done differently. Uh, programming issues that we um, we had to deal with throughout this project I'll uh, quickly discuss in this next segment. So programming issues that we had to overcome was the transition between scenes and the difficulty with that is do, do you load a whole new scene when you find a new marker page and how do you find the marker and then transition to a new scene unless you have a detector for every single marker which makes a you know a, an undirected fully connected graph um, between each scene and I mean that was the solution for this and it uh, it was not as efficient as it could be but it also created an atmosphere where the child can take the book and they can flip from the first page all the way to the last page and it will always recognize the marker and always be able to render with the smooth storybook kind of transition between pages. I would just like to uh, quickly thank Danny Papagianis for pushing us into doing things that we normally wouldn't have done. I mean, having the course so open-ended, everyone was able to research and figure out what they wanted to do with their own final project, and I would have never done anything along the lines of augmented reality. I mean, I hadn't researched anything regarding it, and I work a lot more with, uh, with, with back-end programming you know, throughout my job and also my time at school, so it was a it was it was very interesting to be able to work with one of these new technologies and fully leverage the mobile platforms that we all carry around with us from day to day, and enable the learning for children during their 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 bedtime stories. So, anyways, I'd like to thank you very much, and um, hopefully, I'll be uh, creating some more augmented reality projects to show you guys. Thank you very much and uh, have a great day.